Hey guys, it's Ashley and this is going to be my Pretty Little Liars recap and review for Season 5, Episode 10, A Dark Alley. Confess your dad cheats on her and then her sins back boyfriend hits on me. Hannah, she was there. She doesn't need a play by play. So bad, bro. Oh. How have been a place for the thing you got from you know who? You speaking in code now? <laughs> Seems like a good idea. I'm back good old times. Okay. Oh my gosh. That was Melissa. What's going on, Spencer? Was that Let's Melissa? Go. What's going on? Spencer. clip will be my little recap i really don't know what to say man this episode was really good yet really confusing and i really hate ali so much more now i mean there was a small point in my life where i actually believed ali and i thought like oh poor thing and then i slowly started to hate her again and she doesn't seem like she changed. I mean, she's just full of lies. And I'm glad Emily did tell her off because someone needed to. But I'm pretty sure Ali, I don't know if she took that into heart or what. But Emily just like told her off and like, you go Emily, you go girl. Like I really like how Emily is standing up for herself now and the girls to Ali. So this guy that is supposedly Ali's kidnapper his name is Cyrus I forgot his last name because this is a weird last name and supposedly Ali knows him and at first I was like oh please she's making this up but no she actually knows him and like this is the part I'm confused because she has all these flashbacks of her Cyrus and some other guys in this abandoned warehouse and she has all these flashbacks of um, her introducing Cyrus to these two other people they're like hi this is Cyrus and they're holding hands so they had a thing and he looks way older than her and so she, I guess she has a thing for older men I don't know all of a sudden she's sleeping on a couch and then he's taking her bags she goes like hey why are you taking my stuff and he pushes her against a wall and he grabs a knife and he 
stabs her in the leg and that's how she got that wound on her thigh that big scar that she has so she's obviously not making that part up but who is this Cyrus guy and so in the end of the episode we find out that Ali made Cyrus turn himself in and, he, and by the way he got away because she identified this man as her kidnapper but he got away because his 48 hours were already up by the time she identified. Then she goes to meet him in the middle of nowhere in like this forest. First I thought it was Sydney because she has like this long black hair wig on and she kind of just dressed like Sydney. like I don't know it just made me remind me of Sydney. and then she hands him a plane ticket or some kind of like ticket to get away and then he was like I could have told them the truth that you weren't kidnapped so I don't know I don't know what she has against him or like like and they had a thing he did say that we had a thing we had some fun this and that so I don't, I'm kind of confused about this part like if you guys can leave in the comments down below if you guys kind of get it because I'm kind of confused with this Cyrus guy and Ali also we find out that Mona I don't know about her either if she's good or bad I mean she, I, I don't know because she tells Hannah and she has all this devices where she can um, look into people's phones and she has Tanner's um, phone information and can hear where the police are heading and all that and she had Cyrus's picture in her bag and that's how Hannah followed her into the, her car telling Hannah that she's been getting these panic attacks ever since Ali came back so I don't know whether to believe that or not because she did have she kind of fainted I don't know I don't believe her one bit Hannah and Caleb they kind of stopped drinking and stopped eating junk food all the time trying to eat healthier and they went for a run even and so yeah and then we had like a little halo kiss scene at the end that was cute I love this couple very much Ezra wants to get involved again with Ali but Arya tells him not to because she doesn't want him to get hurt again because he just got well he does anyway and I th I kind of knew he would and he sees Ali at um the brew and then he or was it the grill I don't know but he sits down and right right when he's about like starting to talk her dad comes along so he backs off and he's like oh I'm just saying hi and he walks away and then Arya sees him there and so she gets all mad at him because now she can't trust him and he lied to her saying that he wouldn't get involved but he did see Spencer and Melissa so a few episodes back I believe I don't know if it was last week's episode but anyway there was this episode scene an ending a scene where someone was looking through um, a red chair they lifted up the cushion and then they were opening up the secret passage this is Spencer's secret hideout like where she hides things and so she was gonna put the pictures that Noel had and the uh, recordings of Allie talking to Shauna when she supposedly was dead or kidnapped or whatever you want to call it and so she's gonna put it there but then when she was gonna put it there she realizes that the medical exam was gone and then um, Melissa just randomly appears she's like oh are you looking for something and she and it was just really weird that how she just walked in like that and then her phone starts ringing and Melissa's there and she takes Spencer's phone and say oh you want to get that and she picks up the phone and it's a recording of Ali talking about her kidnapping like what happened and all that and it's like oh who what's wrong and she's acting all innocent Melissa leaves right when she leaves Spencer gets an A message called says checkmate A is that a coincidence or not like Spencer finally confronts Melissa about like what she hiding and all of that stuff and Melissa says that she needs to get away because it's not safe for her or for Spencer and she joined Mona's team because she wanted to prove to Spencer that Ali didn't change at all I don't know whether to believe Melissa or not because she's really sketchy the part where she says that it's not safe for her or Spencer I believe that part 
but the part where she worked for Mona because she wants to prove that Ali hasn't changed, I don't know. I mean, maybe. And she also tells Spencer that Ali is toxic and she's gonna, sooner or later, she's gonna get what she deserves and she doesn't want Spencer around when that happens. And so Spencer comes up with a plan that she wants to stay away from Allie and tell the truth to Tanner. She tells the girls that and Spencer, Emily does not want to believe her at first. She's like, no, I believe Allie this time and all that. But then in the end, she finds out that Allie's toxic and she's full of lies. And then that's when she tells Allie off. And Hannah and Arya, I'm not so sure. Like Arya, she's like, oh, not you too. So I don't know, maybe she's not so sure. Speaking of Arya, Ella, she's still heartbroken over Zach. Like she's like crying and such. And then Arya's just trying to comfort her. And they have nice heart-to-heart -heart moments, like mother-daughter talking. And yeah, but I just feel really bad for Ella. So another thing that happened was Melissa at the end. She's filming herself. And she's like, Spencer, I need to tell you something. Or it was something along those lines that she needs to say something really important and it just gets cut off. It's like, are you serious? Are you serious? Like, they better reveal that real soon. And I know like there's a lot of rumors going around that Melissa's gonna die soon. I mean, maybe I feel like, you know, when she said that not safe for her and she needs to leave i have this really even like before those rumors they were i just had a feeling that something bad is gonna happen to her and i was just thinking that what if like like the ending episode like the last ever episode or like leading up to that episode what if allison dies if, if she does i called it i called it but i don't know i just feel like with all the lies and she's like a lot of people hating her or like i don't know so yeah i guess that's all i have to say except for this episode was really confusing for me like that's why this recap is probably gonna be really short and just really out of order because i don't know what to think now like these writers of this show is so good they're making me like really confused and I really hate Ali now, but I don't hate Sasha Pierre Tersa because she's a great actress. And I'm so glad she won um, her Teen Choice Award because she deserves that. And even like the whole like Pretty Little Liars cast, they like won all of their nominations. Like, good for you. And yeah, because I voted for them. But anyway, I'm gonna go and see you guys next week. Like, oh my gosh, it's getting so good and more confusing. But. Okay, bye guys, peace out.